What's up, Martin? What's up, baby? What do we got in the bay? Dude. Oh, boy. For this beautiful 911. Yep, we got a 992. Yeah. This is a, I think, Carrera S. Might just be a Carrera, That's but crazy, it doesn't say. Nick was supposed to do next case work. That's crazy, dude. Fudge really had to hop in the video. That's dude, crazy. always. It's okay. We, we love them fudge. <laughs> um, so, Martin, what is... uh? What's the first so actually, this, thing? this client, um, this is the second Porsche he has. Yep. Um, and we have his GT3 here. His GT3 here, and um, I actually did the K40 on that one too. And we and we did the FI exhaust and we did on that the FI one. Exhaust, yeah. Um, some carbon accents. Yep. And, and now we did. Um, I did front and rear uh, side reflectors. Yep. We color matched them, so yep. it looks really good. It actually. does. We it should does. probably go take a look at that because, and then we did the clear side markers in the front. Yep um yeah he liked the k40 on that car so much that had to put it in the daily had to put it in the daily <laughs> i mean i can't blame him this right thing. yeah this thing's fun it what is. i like about this guy both of his cars are made i know it's super cool trends. and for a daily too it's fire but it's that butt it's fire well let's get to it martin well i'm waiting for my espresso i see that right. i hear that too that thing's beautiful Look at that thing. Oh, look at all that foam. Well, what do we got here, Martin? All right, so we got our K40. Yep. All right, this box has instructions with a controller. Okay. It's a Bluetooth controller, so it's really nice. You can like hide, the, the whole system is hidden. The Bluetooth controller works really nice because you could just keep it somewhere in the dash and hit yep. the buttons and it works. Cool. Um. So, oh my God, that espresso smells so good. So good. Here, we have our rear radar jammer. Yep. Our front rear, rear that, front radar jammer. Okay. We got all the wiring, all the modules that we need here. Yep. Um, and then, they package wow. it so nice. Here, we have our diffuser optics. Okay. okay. So, we start off with two. The basic 360 kit comes with two. Yep. You got two laser jammers, you got your box. Now, because the troopers out there are using, you know, state-of-the-art technology, um, we need to do more diffusers. So okay. we have an additional diffuser here. For the front. For the front, yep. and we have an additional diffuser here for the front. Cool. So running four in the front. So we're gonna be running four. So, just like you said, what that's gonna allow us to do is two of them are gonna be pickups okay so we're gonna put the two pickups right here okay okay and then we're gonna put the two the jammers out here on in the, the sides other section. Yeah. okay so that's gonna give us like a split second jamming uh split second jamming power so it picks up and right away is jamming um they have these new guns out there they're called dragon breath yeah they're supposed to pick up speed within like two seconds so, oh wow okay yeah, they're very fast um they they're like instant on and off yeah so most radar jammers can't fight them off okay but with a system like this that picks up and jams so quickly due to the additional two jammers that we're installing yeah um you can fight off the dragon breath. cool sweet you know we're gonna fight off the dragon breath with dragon fire i guess so thanks martin
bumper's back on. Bumper's back on. You know? How was your weekend, Tyler? It was good. Okay. How was everybody's good. weekend over there on the other side of the screen? <laughs> um, yeah, bumper's back on, so obviously yeah. you can't see it, but the radar jammer is actually mounted right here. Okay. Okay. Uh, we got the wires running that way to the front. Yeah. Actually, if you peek underneath, you're going to see the wires hanging. Oh, yeah. Yep. So those are going to get wired all the way to the front? Yeah, all the way to the front and inside the car. And then um, I'm trying to button this up so I can drive the car off the lift. Okay. So we can go ahead and uh, start the interior work. Which Sweet. We're going to have to take uh, not, not too much because I try to be as the least invasive as possible with these cars because obviously they're very expensive. Um, so we are gonna take some plastic panels apart. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna hide the module in there, mount the speaker so the guy can hear it. Yep. Um, and then put the lights in and wire everything up. We still got cool. to do the uh, the warning lights, which yep. is for the front and rear, uh, two warning lights, and then we still have to do the GPS. Okay. Too. So, but Sweet. that's all easy stuff. Awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Mario. Check it. What's up, baby? We're inside the car now, We are huh? inside the car. As you can see, the rear radar is coming through here. Yeah, okay. through the back seat. Yeah, through the back seat uh, rug there. I got to, obviously, after I tuck this wire in, I'll put all that back together, make it look like I was never here. Okay. Um, and then we still got to pop the wires in from the front. They're going to come down this area here. Okay. Okay. And then I will be tucking the unit up in this area yep. here. Um, so that's going to be a lot of wiring. There isn't too much access to get onto the cluster here Yep. for uh, for the lights. So right. what we're going to do is we're going to mount them here, okay? Okay. They'll still be very visual, and we're, we're going to make them look factory. Sweet. And that's yeah. the two blue lights that'll be flashing a, in your face. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. You know, the, the one on the left is going to be anything front-related, whether it's radar or laser. Okay. The one on the right is going to be anything rear-related. Sweet. Whether it's radar awesome um, no laser jammers in the back because usually everything happens in the front but okay yeah yep i'll let you know when we come inside thanks martin what do we got going on here martin what's up baby um so we got all the wires inside as you can see that big noodle mess of wires <laughs> uh but don't worry by the time i'm done you're not gonna see none of that everything gets tucked away really nicely and neatly yep. Uh, I am currently working on the power supply for the unit. Okay. The K40s don't draw too much power at all. Uh, three amps max. And that's if you're getting pinged by everything. Radar and laser. And the system's going haywire. Right. Then at that point, you're drawing three amps max. But nominal is very little power. It's like one amp. Okay. Um, so the fuse that's in here is really not that big. You don't need that much power to run the system we got the lights mounted though right here oh yeah huh? okay so this is going to be forward signal this is going to be rear signal okay so any anytime you get pinged in the rear you this light is going to light up anytime you get pinged in the front this one's going to light up oh cool so Sweet. um i'll show you once everything's done wired how it looks because you're not going to see none of that right and then um we'll go through some of the settings too cool and then yeah but it's coming along. Should be done in a little bit. Awesome. Thanks, Ryan. Check it out.
Paul Martin. Can't reach that clutch pedal. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, these things are surprisingly roomy. Like, I mean, very roomy. A tall guy can sit in here and very be. comfortably. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right. So let's check it out. Owner's manual. Okay. Yep. The one eight hundred number. If you got any issues and whatnot. Okay. This manual. So we do have the Platinum three hundred and sixty with additional uh, laser jammers in the front. Yep. We can see. We're good. We're good. Yeah. I like those lights. They're nice. Um, and then this gives you a rundown of everything that, you know, what is K band, narrow band, wide band, quiet function, you know. Cool. The LEDs, all the filtration systems. Um, and then I'll give you a quick rundown of what some of the buttons do. Okay, sweet. Stuff like that. Cool little controller here. Yeah. Typically, you mount it like right here. Right. You know, there's a clip. So, um, let's see. Radar jammers are technically illegal. Okay, so you're not supposed to have them. That's why we hide them. Um, so if you get pulled over, the best thing you can do is hit this power button. Okay, it shuts the system off. And then the cop, the cop can't detect that your car is jamming signals. Right. Um, laser jammers are actually controlled by the FDA. Don't ask me why. So those are straight up legal. It doesn't matter. But let's fire this up, see what it does. Let's do it. So all those little beep and noises and R2-D2 clicks that it does <laughs> just means that all the systems are go. Cool. Uh, here you have volume. Medium high, 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 <laughs> high. Hi. <laughs> and then here you have the dim for your lights. Okay. Night. Okay. Night. Auto. Auto. Off. Day. Whoa. I like days day. are bright. Yeah, huh? day is nice. Yeah, day is really nice. So, a um, couple things. The MM button means mark mute. So, if you're coming into a building where there's a lot of surveillance cameras or just, you know, ring cameras and all that stuff, everything throws a signal, you're going to get a warning for it. So, for example, coming into this building, the that coming into the building triggers the system so what we do is we mm so every time you're coming into the building the system is not going you know crazy on you telling you that there's stuff around right okay the ma button okay is if you know there's an area where a cop sits with a speed trap or there's uh cameras in there that catch you like uh red light cams and all that stuff you ma that and the system will warn you before you get there. GPS connected. There's the GPS. Get, yeah, you <laughs> always want to get the GPS connection. Now, the reason why this thing uses GPS is two things. One, so that it knows where the car is, so that if you do mark a location, whether it's a speed trap, a uh, red light cam, or whatever the case may be, is it knows where to mark it. The other thing, it does vary by speed. Okay. So under 20 miles an hour the system pretty much goes into quiet mode the faster you go the faster the system's gonna react so that is really nice um you have cd and highway here mode city filter auto filter highway Sweet. Yeah. so those are your modes yeah so auto filter is gonna try and filter out any silly cameras whether it's a, a traffic cam uh surveillance camera any cameras in the building is right. gonna try and filter it out okay or any signals that are gonna trigger the the system like sometimes you see weather stations on the side of the highway those will trigger the system if you put auto filter it'll filter those out but we like to keep it on highway mode because it'll range everything okay so cool um but that's pretty much it that's pretty much the quick rundown sweet um there is a bunch of settings but you got to go through that, man. Yeah, there's a lot. But awesome. Then, yeah. And then we power off. Oh. And then that's it. Thanks, Martin. Now we're good. See you guys next time. <laughs>